What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, we are going to be talking about something that, honestly, is a, uh, it's a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie, so, remember the way we kind of found out certain ways of going 12-0, and 0, like, I did it myself, as I said, I sold my soul to go 12-0 and 0 in my team, like, I genuinely went out, I overall cheesed, I did everything I could to go 12-0, and 0. and then, there has been something that's been found, not only, not only in um, Unlimited, but in TTO. So, someone, st someone streamed a week ago, showing how to come up against a bot team every time, or almost, almost every time in TTO. And then Young Simba a couple of days ago, I'm going to leave a link to Young Simba, because I'm going to be showing his video in a little bit. I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description. And also, there was a video an hour ago where um, Tulsh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description as well, um, where he came up in TTO against a bot. So this is actually kind of crazy because it appears that if you go into an unlimited game um, and you run with all uh, pink diamond cards, or say not pink diamond, all bronze cards. So if I decide, you know what, screw it, I'm going to run all bronze and I'm going to go into a game of my team unlimited. So Basically, this is what I've got right here. This team right here. So, I'm not going to go for it now because, well, there's enough evidence that shows this. But there's no, like, you run out with this squad here. I'll just put in Bonga just so that I can back out. And all bronze. So, if you go and run with three bronzes in TTO. So, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of clips now for a few minutes. So, this is obviously the clips of the TTO game where he went out with Dean Wade and two other bronzes. So obviously he came up against a couple of other bronzes. You might think that's normal. Well, just look at the way the bronzes play. First of all, there's way too many numbers for that to be a real PSN or Xbox name. And it is just past full court. It is past full court. And literally every single time. And just look at the way they're playing defense. They're predicting passes like CPU. I am telling you, they are like in passing lanes they shouldn't be in. Like this is not a real player. I'm telling you this right now, this is 100% not a real player. Jumping randomly at times, not playing defense, spamming random buttons. This is 100% not a real player. I'm telling you that right now. And whatever about this one, the bots I think are getting a little bit smarter because these bots are just playing the game in a ridiculously dumb way, but they're taking shots. They are taking shots. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is I've gotten five DMs in the last three days about this. While obviously not too many people are doing it, um, since the video from Young Simba, which again, I will leave a link in the description, this, this video here, it has become more and more popular and it's literally letting people go 12 and 0 for free. If you have six hours in your day and you can just have your PlayStation on the side while doing something else, you can literally go free. So you always see really weird PSN names with these. So they always have a dash in their name um, and they always have like really kind of weird, um, what's it? team names like CA6 and all they do is just throw bounce passes. That's literally all they do. They just throw bounce passes every single and yeah so it is basically a guaranteed win. It is basically a guaranteed win and not only that is it a guaranteed win like these bots won't even let you pause out of the game. Like they will can keep clicking continue and then eventually uh, you're back into the game. So you can't even pause out of the game and obviously dashboarding gives you an auto uh, ban now. Really, really awkward, but it is like it is what it is. That is exactly what's happening. So, pretty much, I'm gonna be talking about this and what, why, why 2K did it, and what I think it makes for the game. Like, do I think it makes, do I think this ruins the game, and do I think what do I think 2K need to do? So, first of all, I think the reason for this, I think Young Simba believed that the reason was um, that. 2K wanted to like punish people using this tactic. That 2K wanted to punish people going out with all bronzes. And while there is some merit to that, especially because they are continuing every game um, rather than taking the win and quitting, I really think that it is, it's a matchmaking situation. So I think it's that not enough people are running with full bronze teams because like a full bronze team, you have to go out of your way to run it. Like, Honestly, a team you get from starting up the game is like 75 overall, 78 overall. So it takes an effort to run an all bronze or all silver team. 
like you have to actively try to do it like it's not like something that you can do by just um starting up the game like you will not have a, a bronze player you'll have maybe two or three in your squad but that will be it and yeah it's just kind of a weird situation because I think it's a matchmaking thing, the 2k true bots in so that people can find matches with low rated squads when there's not that many in them around. And on the other hand, I do kind of understand the whole 2k putting them in because they don't want people to cheese with it. I don't see them thinking about that because I actually don't think 2k care if people overall cheese or not. I genuinely don't think they care. So I'm definitely not um, on that kind of frame of thought. But my opinion is they just want to find games. And I'm saying this right now, 2K is over, like everyone complains about matchmaking in 2K. I think to an extent, it works really well. As in, if you're an 80, 80 overall team, you're not gonna be matched up with 95 overall team. If you're an 80 overall team, you might be matched up with an 85 overall team or a 75 overall team. If you're a 95 overall team, you're very rarely gonna be matched up with an 85 overall team. Very, very rarely. You're more than likely going to be matched up with like an 80, um, what you call it, an 89 to 90 team at the lowest. So it's why when I went up to above 96, I stopped playing overall cheeses. But when I go back down to 95, I play a lot of 90 overall overall cheeses. So it is just one of those things in the game that I think the matchmaking in terms of just basing overall versus overall works really, really well. And because of that, obviously, um, if they didn't add bots in, it would be impossible for anyone using bronzes to find a game, which I don't think that's something the that 2K wants either. Like, I don't think 2K necessarily want people to be unable to find a game because I think that would be an absolute disaster for them as well. Because, I don't know, for example, if a person um, somehow happened to put themselves in a situation where they only had bronze cards. I don't know how they put themselves in that situation, but a person might put themselves in that situation and then all of a sudden they're out, all of a sudden they're like out there trying to find a game and they can't and they physically cannot play the game because of how well 2k's matchmaking system works so that's why i think they put the bots in but it's only been especially this month that people have really been trying to get creative with how they're going to overall cheese people have been trying to get really really creative with how they're going to go about manipulating overall in order to come up against the easiest matchups so that is pretty much why people found out about it now it's pretty much why this is happening more and more because again you're seeing more and more people i'm not like at this stage it's so common that i'm not even gonna call it overall cheesing like running all bronzes is not overall cheesing i'm that is not overall cheesing running one all bronzes and like one opal is not necessarily overall cheesing like it's like if you come up if i'm if you're running all bronzes and one opal and i'm out there running all emeralds i'm probably gonna beat you like I have all the good emeralds, but that's the kind of way it is. Um, and especially, people are saying overall cheesing using all bronzes. And anyone with that logic, that doesn't make sense. Like, if using all of the same tier is overall cheesing, then I don't know. Um, attempting to come up against easier matchups by using all bronzes is definitely a real thing. And I think that, honestly, considering the way that matchmaking is working uh, right now, I can see that being a legitimate way to go 12 and 0. And then if you're not coming up against the bot, especially nowadays, because a bunch of people watch Young Simba's video, a bunch of people are going to watch this. It's it's un less and less likely that you are going to come up against the bot. But again, I've been messaged so many times saying that this is something that is happening and that people have been easily able to go 12 and 0 without even trying. Like they score two points and they win the game. And also I've gotten a bunch of, well, I've I just looked through the comments of Young Simba's video and there's a bunch of others. So while I definitely don't think it's, been brought in to stop overall cheesing i think it's just to find matchups it has kind of showed that the matchmaking system in 2k is really easy to manipulate um it's actually it is so good that it's easy to manipulate it's why overall cheesing works it's why using lower teams works um to an extent because it works so well and we are we know how it works which is the problem so we can manipulate it so honestly um, I, I genuinely think from May onwards, I'm just going to go out with a team of bronzes. I'm just going to go out and all bronze attempt 12 and 0 because best case scenario, I come up against a bunch of bots. Worst case scenario, I come up against someone else using all bronzes. Very worst case scenario, I might come up against a squad like this where someone uses this squad or is there any, is there any even Sapphire cards? Sapphire Fred Van Vliet. Someone has that card. 
then suddenly their team is a tiny bit above. Tiny bit, bit above bronzes, and then they won just got. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. Like, 2K, they've won, it's a given. Like, 2K have added bots in the game. The reason why is more than likely in terms of just finding matchups, and it was just figured out because this is the first time all year where anyone's crazy enough and been desperate enough to use bronzes. But uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. Do I think it's going to have a big impact on 2K? The, I don't think the bots themselves will have a big impact. The couple of hundred people that have come up against bots already and used them to go 12 and 0, fair enough. It'll definitely help them out. But also, um, for people now, what more likely is going to be the case is that if you use a bronze, you're just going to be matched up with someone else using the bronze. So um, I honestly don't think the bots have that big a relevance, but it is kind of crazy that they put literal non-shooting bots into my team online. Like you cannot, like you could not even make that up. Imagine if someone told that to you at the start of the year. They literally put non-shooting bots online. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching.